my YouTube friends. Are you tired of live streams looking like a pixelated mess or even worse, getting disconnected at the worst possible moment. Well, today we're diving into a lifesaver feature in OBS. Say goodbye to blurry videos and unexpected disconnects. With this little known feature, you can ensure your streams stay crystal clear and uninterrupted no matter what your internet throws at you. Whether you're gonna stream games, tutorials, or live events, this feature is a game changer. Join me now as we explore how to set it up in OBS and keep your streams looking sharp and professional. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more streaming tips and tricks so you know what. Let's get to it! Now I'm guessing a lot of you never even heard of the OBS Studio dynamic bitrate feature. And you may ask yourself why it is that such a powerful feature has flown under the radar for so long. Well, for starters, it's not enabled by default, and many users simply aren't aware of its potential to transform the streaming quality, especially when it comes to questionable connections. Dynamic Bitrate is designed to automatically adjust your stream's bitrate in real time, helping you to prevent the dreaded disconnects and reduce buffering for your viewers. It's like having a safety net for your streams, ensuring that your content remains smooth and uninterrupted even when your internet connection isn't cooperating. I'm gonna show you exactly how to enable dynamic bitrate in OBS so you can take full advantage of all of its features. Okay, so here in OBS, it's really simple to get to. We're gonna go into settings and we're gonna go into advanced. And then all we have to do is go down here to network and select dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion. You can just click that button and click apply. And now we have dynamic bitrate activated. Now, if we go into output and we have this set up as CBR, which is supposed to be constant bitrate, well, you might think that dynamic bitrate would not work when you have CBR selected. However, dynamic bitrate will still override CBR if your network runs into problems to guarantee that you don't get disconnects and the best quality video is provided. So don't worry about whatever encoder settings you have in here. When you go ahead and set up dynamic bitrate, it will automatically try to save the stream, try to give you the best image quality possible, and make sure that it doesn't disconnect the very best that it possibly can. There are problems that this is not going to solve. If you're dropping frames because of encoder lag, this is more of a product of your computer being overloaded. The delay or latency between live for you and live for your audience is not going to be affected by this either. This is a normal part of streaming because the platform that you're streaming to has to encode the video on their end when it's received. A lot of people incorrectly refer to this as lag, but lag is actually delay or out of sync audio and video that's caused by processing on your computer. Dynamic bitrate can't fix that either. Dynamic bitrate is specifically to smooth out connection hiccups. It's designed to maintain the highest video quality possible and keep the stream alive instead of it just disconnecting. Now, if you're having encoder lag or dropping frames and you want me to do a video on how this can be fixed, let me know about it in the comments. And if you want to master OBS audio systems, then check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.